Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be looking at Mech Knight Invoked Numeron. Now this is a very, very competent deck just because of the sheer space it gives you to play hand traps. Um, the reason I play Ghost Ogre is just to combat other maybe mirror matches with the Numeron engine. There are only three hand traps I believe that can actually combat the um, Numeron engine. I, they're uh, Starframe Gear Gamma, Impermanence and Ghost Ogre. So we're going to be going first right here. Um, we're going to start off with the magical meltdown and then we get the Alistair and then we do basic stuff um, Searching invocation getting all mirage secure gardener fusing into a mechaba and then we go into We just use invocations effect to retrieve the um, Alistair and um, it's our FA players turn next um, He has hang on mock. I believe that if it's uh, level goes to seven or higher it like becomes a macrocosmos or something um, but uh, we just use a uh, ghost dogger on that thing's effect every every time I act it he activates an FA spell card um, It just increases level by one so I can just ghost dogger that because I know that um FA's just love their normal summon a lot And this is where the uh, field spell comes in it just lets them it just give them another normal summon and now um that thing will trigger because he activate an FA field spell which will increase its level but we can just use Mechaba and he scoops. Um, I mean, I probably I would have top deck a Cyframe Driver as you see right here. But um, well, that might have not been the best um, what do you call it, example of me doing stuff. But um, this deck is super great, and I'll just show another replay in a sec. And right here we are up against Data Escapes, I believe. Um, we're going second. We have Imperm, Ash Blossom, Lightning Storm. We got the full uh, pack of boys. Uh, so he's going to start off by activating Foolish Burial Goods. I let that pass. He activates King Long. I let that pass. Um, he activates another King Long. Uh, he normal summons Tour Guide. Now right here I should have Impermed the Tour Guide. Um, I don't know why I was saving the Imperm. But um, that was just a misplay by my side. Because um. I thought I could imperm these data scapes, but the data scapes do trigger in the hand, so you can't imperm them because they're never on the field. So um, he's just gonna search a trap. He's gonna activate the effect of the princess, and I imperm the Dante, forgetting that a milling three is a cost. Um, you see, this is where my incompetence with burning abyss comes in, where I don't even know how to play the damn deck. And I just fail miserably. Uh, so he's gonna activate a uh, Lavla, which is basically a monster reborn. And then he's gonna go into a Dayscape Fox, which will um end his turn. Now I have terraforming. If I really want to, I can lightning storm it. But I'm pretty sure um and if I lightning storm him, um all of his um cards, all his monsters will be banished, and then um which will make his trap go online. I think that's how it's worked. I think that's how it works, I'm not sure, but um I, I won't be taking my chances because I can just ODK him right here. And we're going to activate Numeron Network and he kind of surrenders. Uh, you see the ODK was we summon all four Numeron Gates in case you don't know what the Numeron Gates are. They just kind of, um, they they all have the exact same effect. They can't be destroyed by battle. And um, af at the end of damage step, uh, if it battled, you can double the attack of all Numeron Gates. So I could have just crashed into a Dante and then... Um, Everything will be doubled. I could crash into that. Everything will be doubled. I crash into that. Everything will be doubled. And with no monsters on his field, he I would have 8k, and um, I wouldn't have a problem. I could have probably should have lightning stormed his back row instead. Um, but yes, I could have very very easily OD'd him right there. Um, and uh, that's the main reason why he scooped because he knew I could. And our final duel is against. Zombie Shadal question mark Yeah, it actually seemed to be Zombie Shadal and I've, I've never seen this before Um, but um, I believe we are going first I think and um, yeah, yes, we are uh, we activate near run wall We do various stuff. Um, of course we get everything up We get the utopic zexel and then we're gonna use the utopic zexel and he's just gonna chain and perm one of the only hand traps that can actually um, fight the new run engine and um, he doesn't really have much he can do, you know, he hasn't really opened that great. Um, he's gonna activate Foolish Burial, which will get a dragon, which will pop my network. Uh, but I only run one Numeron Calling anyway, so it isn't that bad. He sets Mizuki. He probably could have won if he just attacked over the Zexel. 
Um, but once again, I could have just um, gone ahead, gone into Purple Nightfall and destroy him. And I probably could have OTK'd him either way. But, um, I mean, he made a mistake not going for the Zexel. So we're going to activate Meltdown. We get the se we get a second Alistair. We get the search for multiple stuff. We're going to secure Garna, Almiraj. Um, I, at this point, I probably should have just set the invocation and summon my Nightfall over there. Um, but whatever, we just get a Mechaba and then um, we get the indication, we recycle the Al Alistair and we're going to switch the um, Zexel to attack and we're going to attack. Um, he takes a decent chunk of damage and I have the extra Alistair in my hand anyway, so I just decided to use this Alistair to boost my uh, Mechaba. He activates evenly matched, uh, so I just choose to keep my Utopic Zexel, um, which that um, play could have potentially cost me the entire game just keeping my Zexel but um, I decide not to so he can activate his Shadal Fusion he just chooses to pass and at this point I could easily uh, go into a second Mechaba because by the way all the Numeron Gates are light so you can just use Invocation to uh, use those as material and um, just like that I easily could have just um, made a Mechaba uh, boosted with Alistair which would have been a one hit KO so we'll go on to our last replay then and we are finally up against Sacred Beasts. Um, I asked to go against Meta. Uh, this is a tier 0 deck. Um, so we have the Nibiru. Uh, I don't think that is that useful against uh, Sacred Beasts. But uh, we'll just see. We're going to start off with the Numeron Network. We're going to go ahead, dump the calling. We get 3 Numeron Gates and overlay into Zexal Pass. Um, so now we're just going to activate Zexel, which will stop him from doing anything. Not like he could have even done anything with this terrible hand. He does not have any of the level 4 lower monsters. He just sets Crackdown. Um, so now we can go for the Magical Meltdown and get more stuff on the field. We get Alistair, uh, which will, um, and then this is the time I decide to set the Invocation and summon Blue Sky, which will just let me get more cards. Uh, we're going to go into a an Alistair Invoker of Madness on this column. Uh, so that we just get the extra call for the nightfall um next we can activate invocation now and we'll banish this numeron gate and the uh, alistair to go into mechaba and now uh invoker manus will trigger which will discard the numeron wall as uh, we already have a copy of numeron network so i didn't really feel there was a need for the numeron wall um and then we just get the alistair back and then um we just attack for a decent amount of damage before he manhunts us. We do not have any traps in our hands, so we can negate with Mechaba. I decide to crash into my own Mechaba, uh, mainly because we can always just make another one. Um, and we just attack for a decent amount of damage. We activate Invocation, which will banish this Alistair, because it always treats its name as Alistair while it's on the field. So uh, we can always use that. And we have the Blue Sky in our graveyard, so we can go into another Mechaba. So now it's, it's his turn, and um, we're gonna activate Zexel again. He can't do anything. He literally cannot do anything. Uh, I mean, at most he could have done a couple of stuff, but we will now go for the deck. Uh, we run 4, 12 hand traps, I believe. Uh, you can make that 13 because we always draw the driver. Um, we run driver for the triple gamma, 2 copies of Nibiru, uh, 3 copies of Ash, 2 copies of Ogre. Uh, three copies of Gamma and three copies of Imperm. Those are all the hand traps we play. We also run two Lightning Storm just because we do kind of like to go second. Um, for the rest of our monsters, we have three copies of Nightfall, one copy of Indigo Eclipse, one copy of Yellow Star, and three copies of Blue Sky. Uh, not three, only two copies of Blue Sky. The only reason why I'm running Yellow Star is because there are um, a great amount, a decent amount of back row decks in the meta right now, uh, such as Altergeist and Eldritch. Uh, so Yellow Star is just a really good card to have, especially against those very heavily played decks. Uh, three copies of Alistair for the um, invoked stuff. And um, we run three copies of Numeron Wall, which and those are all the monsters we run. Uh, very heavy m monster count for an, for a um, Eld not an Eldritch Mech Knight Invoke deck, but you know we got to do what we got to do. Uh, two copies of Lightning Storm because we do kind of like to go second. Um, the Numeron engine just gives them an even stronger play than uh, Alice than the Invoked engine just to go uh, first. Uh, one copy of Terraforming. Terraforming is terraforming. Can't go wrong with that. Three copies of Invocation. Uh, the reason I want to run three copies of Invocation, I want to hard draw it, meaning um, 
if my my if my Alistair does get Ash, I can always just get that invocation if I hard draw it, which is why I run three. A uh, one copy of Numeron Calling, uh, I run one because why not? Uh, three copies of Numeron Network. The Numeron Network is just super great. Um, I mean, do I even have to explain this? Just go into Utopic Zexel Pass. They lose unless they have Ghost Dog or Gamma or Imperm. Uh, three copies of Meltdown. Meltdown just increases the consistency to getting to Alistair. And that's our main deck. Uh, honestly, you can just take out the Invoked Engine entirely if that is what you want. Uh, you can just put in more hand traps such as Phantasma to increase your consistency. Um, put in more Mech Knights in case you just want more Mech Knights. Uh, there are just so many things you can do with the Mech Knight Engine. It's pretty insane. So for extra deck, we run two copies of Mikaba. Uh, two is pretty great. Uh, you kind of cycle through one, uh, not necessarily, but if the first one get uh, gets out, you always want to go for a second one. Um, one Aguides. Aguides, Aguides is also always nice. Just the extra pop is great, and on top of that, it can gain attack equal to uh, banished uh, fusion monsters in your graveyard. But you'll re very rarely get a fusion monster in your graveyard unless you link it off. Uh, one copy of Purgatrio for the OTKs. Uh, one copy of um, pretty much every single Numeron gate. Uh, the reason why we run one copy of every single one is for the OTK. As I said, um, all of these have the exact same effect to double attack, so you can very easily OTK them if they have three or less monsters, as long as one has 1,000 or less um, stats in general. Um, one copy of Utopic Zexel. Utopic Zexel is Utopic Zexel. Um, everybody loved, that, loved it when it was in the format, so it's just come back for its return. Uh, one copy of Access Code, uh, probably my favorite boss monster over cards like Boral Sword, as it is kind of like Dark Arm Dragon in a sense, where it just lets you banish materials and just destroy stuff. Um, we run one copy of Alistair Invoker of Madness, uh, just a nice card to have in this deck. One copy of Cross Sheep, uh, this deck can get make advantage of Cross Sheep, as like n none, n not many decks can take advantage of cross shape as well as this deck does uh, one copy of secure garna and one almirage just for the one card mechaba so um that was the deck i hope you enjoyed it do like and subscribe and i will see you in my next video bye bye